This footage was taken on March 21st, 1962, when the Air Force experimented with a novelty ejection seat system on one of its newest fighter bombers, the B-58 Hustler. The ejection pod shot out from the Hustler's fuselage at an altitude of 35,000 feet while traveling at Mach 2 speed. After an almost eight-minute descent, the pod touched land. Air Force personnel rushed to the site and cracked open the pod's hard shell casing to rescue its passenger. But the pod didn't hold a pilot. Instead, it was a black bear named Yogi, who became the first living creature to survive a supersonic ejection. Convair B-58 Hustler was introduced in 1960. It was the first operational supersonic bomber jet and was capable of hitting Mach 2. The aircraft was built to fly into the Soviet Union and China's boundaries. There, it would deliver massive nuclear payloads at speeds and altitudes that enemy surface-to-air missiles wouldn't be able to reach. Considered the ultimate display of air superiority during the middle stages of the Cold War, the Hustler's technology was unparalleled at the time. However, it was unknown how safe an ejection would be in case of an emergency. How would a pilot eject safely at speeds twice the speed of sound? Convair engineers were puzzled by the task of creating an ejection device from scratch, as designs from the era were only compatible with supersonic speeds. The Stanley encapsulated engine seat was the solution to the problem. Although the concept dates as far back as World War II, the first aircraft to actually use it was the B-58. The Stanley device was more of an escape pod than an ejection seat. To get it to work, the pilot would first pull a pre-ejection handle, which would make the pod's hard shell close around him. The capsule would then shoot out from the B-58, thanks to small rocket-like boosters. The capsule was pressurized to protect the pilot from changes in the atmosphere, and had emergency supplies in case recovery wasn't immediate. It could also float in the event of an ocean landing. To test its reliability, comprehensive testing had to be completed. At first, the Air Force hired volunteers to act as test dummies, but it was not safe enough to launch them at the desired Mach 2 speed. Soon, the Air Force realized that to verify if the ejection seats truly worked, they would have to conduct some more drastic measurements. Bring in the bears. This strange series of tests would be unthinkable nowadays, but thanks to minimal animal rights regulations at the time, live black bears were used for testing, as they were roughly the size and weight of a grown man. Before the tests, the bears were drugged with tranquilizers and fitted with special sensors that collected biometric data. In the initial stages, the bears were put on rocket sleds. Once the Air Force and Convair finished the Stanley ejection device's design, it was time to eject the animals at supersonic speed. On March 21st, 1962, a female black bear named Yogi was flown up to the skies by a human pilot, and the animal's ejection pod was fitted inside a cockpit. She was then ejected at 35,000 feet at a speed of 850 miles per hour and landed 7 minutes and 49 seconds later. Yogi survived the test. The entire journey, including her safe landing, was captured in this footage. A few weeks later, another black bear named Big John was also ejected at an altitude of 45,000 feet and a speed of 1,060 miles per hour. Yogi was alive at the end of the test. Sadly, to determine whether she had received any significant internal injuries, Air Force medics chose to euthanize her to conduct thorough autopsies. Most of the other animals in the tests landed safely, with only minor bone fractures and bruising due to whiplash. There was only one fatality among the animals. One of the bears had an unknown pre-existing brain condition. During the ejection, the physical strain proved to be too much for the bear's body. He passed away before the pod landed. In total, six bears and a chimpanzee contributed to testing the B-58 Hustler's ejection device. All of them were put down.
Despite its speed and marvelous design, the B-58 Hustler never saw actual combat. Almost a quarter of the built Hustlers were destroyed in ill-fated incidents. Even the most skilled pilots were terrified to fly it. In 1970, the Air Force Strategic Air Command retired the aircraft. But without a doubt, its Stanley ejection seat device helped pave the way for new technology in escape capsules. <laughs>